So I'm in Photoshop and I want to change the shape of the wave in the background here. If I scale it up in uh, free transform mode, you'll see the shape of the wave isn't exactly what I want. I kind of want the water, um, the foam, I should say, at the top to kind of hit this circle um, outline. So I'm going to undo that and I'm going to use a tool call, uh, called Warp. And that tool is available two different ways. So if you're in the transform mode, meaning you have these little bounding boxes on the side, you go up to your top menu here and there's a little picture here and it's warp mode. So if you select that, you'll get this breakdown where you can just drag within the shape itself or the image itself, I should say, and it will fit just by moving it around. And you can use these little handles to adjust things with a little bit more control if you want. And that is pretty cool. That's way closer to what I wanted. Um, you'll also find uh, this warp menu where you can do custom like I was just doing, or you can do some preset warps like fisheye, which is kind of fun. Um, it's not quite what I want, but I could use that to get started and then warp from there, custom. Um, yeah, that's cool. So yeah, there's a bunch of uh, different options. And if for some reason, when you're free transforming, you don't see the bounding box or whatever, it's not giving you the option to uh, use warp, just go over to edit, transform, and then down to warp. And that will get you back to that menu so you can move your image along. So this is a great way to um, compose Kind of a structure to your to your image early on if you want things to look a certain way it does distort the pixels so you kind of have to be careful but right now i'm just in the um the phase where i'm coming up with the composition so this is a great tool and i hope that you guys found it helpful and yeah um join me for more videos <laughs>